Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I haven't done a haul video in a while, so I figured I would do one today since my mom and my aunt and I just got back from the Christmas tree shops. If you're not familiar with Christmas tree shops, definitely Google them. They are not just Christmas stuff. It's a really, really awesome store. They have them all across the country now, I think, but they have all kinds of fun holiday stuff, seasonal stuff, just everyday stuff. They have a huge stationery section, a huge food section, all kinds of goodies. But I'm just going to show you what I got from there. Also, one quick thing that I got from Hot Topic, and then I'm just going to throw in because I picked it up yesterday. I redeemed a few points from Dave and Buster's and got a cute little luggage tag. But first thing we got was this ginormous shopping bag. Um, here in New York, I live in Nassau County, but there's another county called Suffolk, and in Suffolk County, they charge you five cents per plastic bag in stores so that you will use reusable bags. But you can buy really cute bags like these. This is the Christmas Tree Shops one. They have tons of designs, but this cute one with the kitties I loved for a dollar. So if you don't bring your own bags, I usually do what my mom never ever does. You can get bags that you can reuse for a little as a dollar and like I said it's huge I mean I wish I could give you good perspective but when you see what I take out of it it'll give you an idea but anyway so we got that and we got some of this uh, Victor Allen's coffee it's not a proprietary brand of Christmas tree shops because I've also seen this at Bed Bath not Bed Bath and Beyond sorry Big Lots but this is an 80 cup count and I think it's usually either $24.99 or $29.99 but it was on sale for $19.99 which makes each cup work out to 25 cents so you really can't do much better on K-cups and this donut shop blend my husband and I both really like so we got that then this was a steal and it was literally just because the box was banged up and retaped I think so there may be a few oh wow this is actually Oh, wow. Okay, just FYI, all of these places are apparently affiliated. Chef Central, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bye Bye Baby, Christmas Tree Shops, Harmon Face Values, Cost Plus World Market, One um, Of A Kind, One King's Lane, and then it goes back to Chef Central, but on this tape that they resealed it with, because I guess someone pulled it open, it was as is. It's 42 count of hazelnut K-cups. My mom is dying for me to tear it open and see if all 42 were in there. But regardless, it was originally $14.99. So it just shows you what a good deal it is for the 80 count at $19.99. Because this is just barely over half at 42. But it was on 70% off clearance because it was damaged and open and resealed. So I think we paid $3.75 or something for it, like ridiculously cheap. So my husband and I are set on K-Cups for quite a while. Then they had these two cute little play packs that for all intents and purposes should have been a quarter because they were 75% off from Christmas. From, I guess the ladies' math was not the best. They were a dollar. They were marked to 47 cents. And then when I scanned them, it said see associate for help. So she made them 27 cents, but whatever. I got a couple of these just for myself because they're fun. They're the little play pack, grab and go coloring sets. They're great for kids of all ages, but you get a little coloring book with 24 pages in it. 25 stickers and four crayons and again for 27 cents why not for shits and giggles they help calm my nerves i got a my little pony one and a winnie the pooh and my aunt also picked some up for her grandson and i grabbed them actually brought them over to her and uh characters i thought that he would enjoy he's four so he won't see this um, then I got this really cute, I liked this a lot. This was originally $6.99. It was 70% off. It has a little bit of a hole down here that you can barely see. Where is it? Right here. You can see it more in the back because it's just that little particle board. But I had a reason for this. Also, the frame is a little wonky down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can even tell. It's just like not attached right, but a little glue if necessary. I got this because when I took my road test, I had to take my road test three times before I passed it because all we owned when I was a kid were two vans and I only learned to drive either in the van on rare occasions, which by the way, it's really hard to drive a van when you're first learning to drive. In driver's ed class, I got to drive a car, but that wasn't very much. And then once in a blue moon when we could borrow my aunt's car. So it took me a long time to learn to drive. The road test, I mean, the 
written tests, I did fine. But the road test, it did take me three times to pass, and that was mostly because of parallel parking, which to this day I don't do because I fucking hate it. But anyway, <laughs> I remember to this day that the driving instructor said to me, well, you're no superstar, but you passed. And then my father, being the wonderful man that he was, went out and found a kid's card from Hallmark that said something about you're my superstar. So I love stars, obviously persevering star, but when it said you are you are my superstar, I was like, oh my God, it just reminds me of my father. So I had to have this, it was so, so cute. So this was like dollar something, I think with the discount, but yeah, this will remind me of my daddy. So I loved that, I had to have that. And where I'm gonna hang it, but I'll find a spot. Plus I love just the beachy theme in general. And there's my phone in the background that hopefully my mom will answer quickly so it doesn't play on the recording too much. This was, ah, oh, in the phone cell. Marvelous, that's always lovely. This, just real quick, was the thing I got with my points at Dave & Buster's. It was a cute little pineapple luggage tag. I have a couple different cards that I've just accrued, like, different times I've gone, and they're, you know, I didn't have my card with me, so I had to buy another damn card, which is annoying, because you have to activate them. But I had a few different cards, and I was like, you know, I really need to get rid of my extra cards. So a little bit of tickets I had on each one. I said, screw it. I'm going to combine them together and just buy something. So I had like 203 tickets and this was 200 tickets. I love pineapples. I think you guys know that. I'm just into them, especially since I found out they're the international symbol of hospitality. So I think I've mentioned that before I know, but in case you guys were not aware of that fact, that's why you'll see them a lot in restaurants and in hotels and stuff. And I just thought it was adorable. It's just rubber and it's got the spot on the back where you write directly on it, which I kind of don't like because then if you move, obviously you can't use the, oh, actually it's just name, telephone number and email. So you actually really could use this unless you change that information. Um, and obviously hopefully you'll never need it, but it just has the little, you know, belt closure that you, you know, fasten through like this and it, you don't need to see this, but yeah, and then it just hooks to the little holes and secures on your bag. I'll probably actually just put this on my laptop bag that I always bring with me when we go to conventions and stuff. I just thought it was really cute. And it's like I said, to get rid of the 200 points, why not? It's silicone, actually, excuse me, silicone, not rubber. And then last but not least, you guys, I can't believe I'm showing you this. I bought a bikini and I am way too fat for a bikini. Let's get real. But I went into Hot Topic not expecting to buy anything unless they had, sometimes they have like buy two get one free or buy two get two free in the clearance stuff. And a lot of times they'll have blind boxes and they're brand new blind boxes for Stranger Things, which of course wouldn't be on sale anyway. What was I thinking? But um, they're little Funko, not Funko. I can't think of the brand that they are. I don't think they're Funko, but little blind boxes of the different figurines. They're not the key rings, which I usually buy. I haven't seen Stranger Things key rings. Those I like even better because they serve a purpose besides just sitting on your shelf. But um, a friend of mine on Instagram bought uh, two the other day and on his second box, he got Max, which is the one in 72 rare. I was like, oh my God, you are so lucky because I love Max. If you're not a Stranger Things fan, you won't know who I'm talking about, but if you are, obviously you know who she is. She came around in season two and was huge in season three as well. But anywho, they didn't have that, but they had bathing suits and it was two pieces for $12. Now, let me just put this in perspective for you guys. First of all, I adore Lilo and Stitch, like freaking worship. It's my favorite Disney movie ever. I am fat. <laughs> Let's just call a spade a spade. I'm fat. So I bought the bikini pieces in XL, although honestly, I'm small on top, so I probably could have done a large up there or a medium, but I just grabbed XL because I just do force of habit and I tried it on and you can tighten the strap, so I think it'll be fine. But check this out, you guys. Do you see what this says? $26.90 US, just for the bottom. It says right on it, swim bot, Lilo cosplay. So just the bottom of this bikini would normally have been $27. Two for $12, you guys. So how cute is that bikini bottom? I do like the little bit of ruffling too, so it actually looks kind of like Lilo's grass skirt. I just thought this was precious. And here is the top piece. And I like that you can tighten it around the neck, but also it ties in the back. So you have a lot of flexibility to, you know, make it fit. And it does have a little bit of padding that's actually, 
I don't even think it's removable. I think it's built in. Yeah, this is all stitched, so the padding's actually built in, so you get a little extra coverage on top. Not that I need it, but how cute is that? You guys, $12 for the whole thing, and it should have been $26.90 per piece, because again, just to clarify, this is not just, you know, one tag, and then it says you get the other piece with it. No, swim top, Lilo Cosplay, $26.90. So run, do not walk to your hot topic if you're looking for a cute bathing suit. They also had Moana. I was tempted, but I was like, nope, Lilo has my heart first and foremost, but I do really love Moana as well. Actually, Stitch has my heart more than even Lilo, but I love anything to do with Lilo and Stitch. So for 12 bucks, you guys, I hate, hate, hate bathing suit shopping, but I haven't had a new bathing suit in like four or five years. And for that price, there was no way in hell, even if just to run in my fucking sprinkler in my backyard, which I have no qualms about doing, I had to have that. And, and look at how cute, <coughs> excuse me, look at how cute. I wasn't even thinking about this, but look, I have a little pineapple to go with my bikini, but, um, yeah, I tried it on and yeah, let's be real. There's flab hanging out all over the place. The, the cashier and this particular hot topic is one of the nicest guys. I've, you know, had him as my cashier before. He's so nice. He's like, have that work out for you because I tried it on and we made a joke about, you know, I promise I'll try it on over things. He's like, yeah, I know like underwear, like some people don't even think like, you know, you might want to keep your underwear on if you're trying on a bathing suit. Some people are just, ew, nasty people. But I was like, no, trust me, I'm not a nasty person. He's like, it's all good. Go try it on. So he's like, how'd it work out for you? I said, I kind of look like a whale that ate Lilo, but <laughs> you know what? For running my sprinkler in my backyard, if nothing else, it's really, really adorable. And you know what? If people don't want to see my fat, they can just avert their eyes. Too bad. People come in all shapes and sizes. And the sooner we're all more tolerant about that, I think the happier our world we will be. And that also means I need to stop being so hard on myself about my weight, but I don't know. I'm not even going to get into that because that's a whole nother video. This is a haul video. We'll talk about my weight another time if anybody cares to hear me bitch and moan about that because that could be a long video in and of itself. But anyway, I don't have totals of what I spent, but like I said, every single item that I got today was on sale. So I'm really happy about that. And my mom treated, so even better. But thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please stay cool. If you are in the U.S., I'm pretty sure it's a national heat wave at this point. My aunt in Miami texted me the other day and she was like, oh my God, honey, it's almost 100 degrees. I was just thinking, Aunt Jackie, it's almost 100 degrees here too. And at least you're closer to the water than I am. So please stay cool, stay safe. If you have dogs, you guys, I am not a dog owner, but someone once mentioned this to me, and it's a great, great, great test. Go outside and stand on the concrete. If your feet can't handle it, your dog's feet can't handle it. Please, please, please be aware of either putting booties on your dogs if they have to go on concrete or, you know, better to walk them in the grass or let them, you know, do their business in the yard. Please be aware that, you know, as hot as we are is probably twice as hot as animals are with their thick coats. And they can't tell us that they're hyperventilating or, you know, that they're suffocating or that they're sweating their balls off, so to speak, if they have balls, but figure of speech. So please be extra careful with your animals. Check on senior citizens in your life, you know, check on family members that you know maybe have issues that you know with mobility or whatever make sure they're okay because it's really like palaciously warm out there and i want everybody to stay safe okay thanks for watching guys have an awesome rest of your day and i'll be back soon with more stuff bye